What I've always found interesting is how people tend to use the name of Jesus Christ in a profane manner. It's as if they unconsciously acknowledge his existence, even if they claim to be atheist or believe that all religions lead to the same thing. You see, when someone uses the name of Jesus Christ as a cuss word, they are inadvertently recognizing that he is the only true way, the only truth, and the only path to the Father. Now, let me be clear, I say this out of love. It doesn't matter if you're atheist, Jewish, Islamic, agnostic, or whatever belief system you may hold. The moment you pass from this life into the next, you will come face to face with Jesus on Judgment Day. And in that moment, you will realize that you spent your entire life denying and mocking the one man who could have saved you from burning in hell for all of eternity. The Bible tells us that every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. So, whether you believe it now or not, there will come a time when you will acknowledge his existence and his authority. And that is why it is significant to use the name of Jesus Christ compared to other religious figures. His name holds power and truth. It is the name that brings salvation and eternal life. When you use the name of Jesus Christ in a profane manner, you are not only acknowledging his existence, but you are also disregarding the opportunity for salvation and the forgiveness of sins that he offers. It is a solemn reminder that our words have consequences and that we will be held accountable for how we use them. But here's the good news. It's never too late to turn to Jesus, to repent, and to accept him as your Lord and Savior. He is waiting with open arms, ready to forgive and to transform your life. When you declare out loud, Jesus is Lord and truly believe that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So, my dear friend, I urge you to consider the significance of using the name of Jesus Christ. It is not just a word but a declaration of faith and a recognition of his power to save. Don't wait until it's too late. Embrace his love, his grace, and his salvation today. And may you experience the blessings, the joy, and the eternal life that come with acknowledging his existence and accepting him as your Lord. If you want to receive more blessings from God, make sure to watch this video now. God loves you. God blesses you. Amen.